Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So today we will learn how to call the API and how to test the API through Java. So we are not using any other framework like REST Assured or any other client, but we are using pure Java libraries to test the APIs. Okay, so how do we do that? So what we will do, we will try to first test the REST API and then we will try to test the SOAP API. So let's try with REST and here I will tell you how to do that with for the GET method. All right. So in Java, we have a class called Closable HTTP Client. So we will use that. Okay. So it's Closable HTTP Client. And then let me give name as Client and equal to, again, HTTP Clients dot and then it would be create default all right so just give me a moment it's just freezing up a bit this one okay so we need to use this uh, class file so let me just import it Control shift o so it's eclipse it has automatically imported here at the top all right still something is there i think still issue let's see Maybe a spelling mistake here. It should be S E A B L E. So let me just correct that. So here, what we are doing here, change to closable HTTP client. Okay, let me click on that. It will automatically make the spelling correct. Okay. All right, so see what we are doing here, like the way we have a client like Postman and we have the client like SOAP UI, we are creating our own client in Java. Okay. And once we have created this client, we have to create the request. So let me just write it also that what we are doing in the comment section. So we are creating a client. All right. Now we have to create a request. Okay. So let me write down create a request all right so for the creating request we have a different class and that class is called http get and http post so right now we are using http get all right in that let me name as request equal to new http get okay and here what i need to give so here i need to give the url which i need to try for the get okay so if you know already that there was an api which I have installed in my previous session so let me show you this so this is one of the api and when i hit that it gives me some you know message all right so this api i have created through this uh, link which is json dash server on github for typey code so if you want you can just look into my previous video there i have explained to you how we can install this json server and how we can install the api fake api okay so it is just a mock api which we are using right now so we will continue the same api to test it out so in this video i will not explain how to install that if you want to see please look into the first video where i've explained how to do the api testing in rest assured there i've explained already so you can just go to this url github.com type code json server and it also gives you all the instructions of how you can do that it gives you the instruction one by one from here okay either you can follow that or you can just look into my previous video and you will know how to install this fake json server api okay so i am at this api and you know if you i want to test it then i will do it from postman which is one of the client also the same way we have created a client here is the same way postman is also one of the client and if we want to give any url like example this is one of the url which works for get and where i get this information from this document because every api has a document which tells you that how you put get and how you put post 
how you call the method get and post so you have to look from this document and from here i got this know that you know for get i need to put this like post and one and there would be a base url for that so this is the base url okay so this is how i know and in the postman if you try to do get here in the postman let me just try that okay so let me remove all this and this is new one all right so this is a get url if i click on send then i will get some output of that as a body okay the same thing we will do right now from code okay so this is the http get and now i need to put the same url here also right see we are doing exactly the same thing what we have done in postman and what we have done in rest assured now we are using the java internal classes and we are not using a framework like a rest assured okay so when we hit on enter it's showing me some error here let's see it may be telling that i need to import that so let's import okay so my request has been http get has been imported okay so once you have set up the client and once you have set up the request now what you have to do you can go ahead and you can add the header right which is also an important step when we are working on apis that we have to add the header to our request so it should be dot add header okay and here i can give the header all right so what header because this is a rest okay and if you see that right now we are using json in that it's a json response and json body so what i will do i will give the content type okay so i will give its content type as json all right so it should be content type so in get if you don't even give this header that is fine but i just want to be consistent so i'm giving a header in that in this get get also okay so here we have given json as a header all right and now once the header is given you can execute your command so i can just write it here adding header all right and the fourth step is you have to execute it all right so for execution of the command we have to give a class which is called response okay so it's called closable http response so it would be again clo sea closable http response and i will give that name as response because i want that you know it gets stored in response and i will call my client dot execute command client dot execute okay and here i need to give my request so this is my variable request so i will give that and i will put a semicolon at the end okay so this is the way i am executing my command all right so this is the same thing which we do a postman okay we give a url and uh, okay we give a header and then we are just calling this so first i have created a client i have created a request i have added the header and i am request executing the command all right so just a second let me see what is the error all right it's gone it was just an import okay now what to do next now once i go ahead and execute com command then i will get a response right so i should know that what is the response which i am getting and what is the status of the response maybe i can check the number the you know the 200 or the response code which i get like this so for that what i can do i can just give response dot and there is a command called get status line dot get status code okay so basically it will return me some the integer okay and that integer would be a code so i will store it somewhere int code equal to all right now once i get a code i can either print it i can assert it so let's do that so i will do system dot out dot println response code is all right and i can type here code okay 
and if I want to assert it I will just give assert dot assert equals okay and here I can give my expected is 200 and my actual is code okay through which I can assert the response all right so once I have done that if my response is working fine it will move ahead and now I want to go ahead and get the other response so I will store the response in a string called response string okay see guys uh, this is important because sometime you know you like for the first time you know it will be very difficult for you to understand these classes because we have never used these classes okay but once you are habitual for this classes then you know it is just a matter of few seconds to write this code for you okay so once you write the code you don't have to depend upon some external uh, you can see a frameworks or external uh, application like soap ui or other things you don't have to do that you can directly do that from your own java code because it might possible in your company you are following some particular framework right and in that framework you can do, go ahead and do the api testing by calling java libraries you don't have to open your soap ui and do the small things from some other application why to do that when the java is providing this facility for us okay i'm not saying those tools are bad so those has their own advantages but this is also an advantage of java that you can integrate the api testing in your own framework also okay so here I'm storing that response string I want to convert my entire body into a string so for that I will give a class called entity and it would name as uh, let me just do a control space entity utils okay and uh, in that you have to call there's a method called to string okay and here you have to give an entity okay because it does not it wants an entity which can be converted into the string so here you can give response dot get entity okay so that will give me my response and then you have to tell the format in which format you want so the standard format is utf dash eight okay so you want the response in this manner all right now what happened now this command will give us the response in a string if we want we can just print this out if you don't want you can skip that don't print it but i always prefer to print the response so that one second okay so it will be same i'm just copying it response string all right and i can get, just give here asserting the response okay so I have first asserted the status and now I am just printing the response string okay in case you have to assert something into that response that response is working fine or not what you can do see there are many ways through which we can uh, you know there are many libraries available in the market which are open source which you can use to convert this response into some particular object and then you can go ahead and use this object so what i have done i am just using uh, one of the library which is used in rest assured but you can use any because i was already working in rest assured and that is already there in my project so i am not downloading any other library i am just using one of the library of rest assured one of the class of rest assured which is called json path and what it will do it will convert my response into a proper json format and then i can traverse to the path like i do in selenium i can traverse to any element by using some x path so that the, that's a benefit of that okay but there can be many other classes which are available with through which you can convert your string into something else okay with which you can convert your string into json path okay so here i will give json path gx path equal to new json path all right and here i can give response string all right so this is the way i am converting and uh, control shift o wait there is some issue with this all right so the p should be capital right i have to make it small and this should be this variable name 
Okay. All right, so now we have converted our JSON string into the response. Now, whatever response I want to get, for example, if I want that ID, okay, if you see that, I am getting one ID here. So if I want to check if the ID has, I am getting it correctly or not, there can be many response on the length, on the number of argument. But I am just checking the ID just to show you how it can we do that, okay? So what I can do, I can just call this GX path, okay? And here, there's a command called get. So you have many commands of get. If you see get character, get short, get string, anything. I'm just calling get. And here, I need to give the X path. Okay. I need to give the X path so that I can, you know, assert that or maybe I can print it. So what is the X path? If you see here, the X path is just the ID. In case, if you have an object here, for example, instead of ID, I have an ID object. And in that ID object, let's say there are two more values given, 320 and something else, a name also given. So for that, I need to give ID dot name, something like that. But here, it's a simple object, so I will just give ID. Okay, I don't need to give a complete X path with using a dot. Okay, I will give ID as my X path, and now I can go ahead and print that. Okay, so I can print ID is, all right, so this will give me ID and in the end, I can assert that also, assert dot, assert, wait, assert dot, assert equals, okay, and I can give the ID, I know, I will get this, so I will say 320 is my expected and actually something which I receive here, okay? All right, guys, so we are done with that. And now let's understand what we have done. So first we have created a client through a Java class. Then we have created one request, okay? Now I am adding a header of that request, okay? And now we are executing that request executing request executing request oh wait executing request all right and now i am asserting the response okay and in that first i have assert the status code then i have converted my response into a string and then i have converted a string into a x path okay into json path and then i am asserting my json path all right, so this is the way we can do it from our Java. So let's try to run it and let's see what is the output. Okay, let's run the program and it says response code is 200. My test case is fine. See guys. So what we have done through rest assured, we are able to do this exactly same thing from our this program in which we have not used rest assured. We have used HTTP client, which is a built in class in Java. OK, so as I said, it is not bad to use the other tools like rest assured, SOAP UI. It is not at all bad. But if you want to integrate your command, your if you want to integrate your API testing into your page object model, into your APM framework, into your Selenium framework, this is the best way. Go ahead. There's only four or five lines of code. If you see here, you know, just these four or five lines of code you need to put, and then you would be able to do an API testing from your Java program itself. Okay. And it is not just rest. You can also do testing on the SOAP. You don't have to purchase a license of the SOAP UI. I understand they have their own benefit. They provide, you know, uh, like reporting part. They provide database connection automatically done. But I don't think like, you know, if we already have everything in our framework, because in our framework, when I was teaching you Selenium, I have told you how to integrate everything. Each and every uh, integration, I have told you how to integrate with the database, how to integrate with the Excel sheet. Then if we have that framework already created, then you can go ahead, use this HTTP client uh, as, uh, as your classes for running the API testing. All right. So thank you guys. If you like the video, please hit on the like button and thank you for watching. Have a great day.